Alrighty, what's up guys? This is Taylor. It is Tuesday the 11th of October and I'm going to show you guys a couple of things I'm seeing in the volatility index tonight that are looking mighty mighty suspect for the bulls. So obviously the market is, I mean we're, we're basically at like the last line in the sand. The monthly 50 SMA. You take out the monthly 50 SMA, especially with that monthly squeeze starting to lean bearish, I think pretty quickly that opens up the door for, well, I, I told you guys, eventually I think we're going back down towards 3000 bucks. So you've got a very vulnerable market here. We are hanging out at key support. We've got a weekly squeeze that just starts to fire short today. And we've got sell signals on the big three indicator on every single time frame. It is looking mighty bearish. And then as far as the volatility index, It's basically sitting here with a loaded gun. So as far as the big three indicator, you got full ammunition here. Buy signals on the daily, the four hour, the two hour, the one hour, the 30, the 15, and the five. So that, my friends, is known as the full bull stack. We got a full stacker of the green beans here. So pretty straightforward. Buy signals on every time frame. Tells you each of those time frames is in an uptrend. Trend, structure, momentum, the big three. It's super, super bullish. So obviously, you guys understand that correlation, right? Strength in the VIX means weakness in the equities market. So the way I see it here, the big level all year for VIX has been 35.36. We get a big rally towards 35.36. Then everything kind of simmers down a bit. The shorts get trapped. You get a little short squeeze, a little pop in the market. You know, I'm not going to marry any ideas. But I do think potentially it could be a little bit different this time around. Different meaning we actually get through 35, 36. And I think potentially upwards of 40 bucks. So here's what they got to do, guys. Very quickly. Um, and keep in mind, tomorrow and Thursday, we got a couple, couple economic reports. If they can't quickly get the VIX well under 30 bucks, I think this is gearing up for more upside. You got a loaded gun. So 30 bucks here. Under 30 in the short term would shift a little bit of that dynamic. Under 30 takes you under your daily 21. And as you guys can see, we haven't closed under the daily 21. Basically, since the VIX starts pumping, since you start getting that good old pumpage back here in mid-September. So a close under 30 would begin to shift a little bit of the daily structure. But more importantly, it would get rid of a little bit of that bullish ammunition. A move down to 30 would probably cancel out your hourly 30-minute, 15-minute, 5-minute buy signal. In other words, it would cancel out the uptrend under the surface. you got to cancel out the uptrend under the surface to avoid what I think could be a pretty explosive move here. So from the point of view of the hourly chart, you know, right now this has bullish properties. You get a positive cross back here, 21 above the 50. And remember, my bars go blue when the 21 crosses positively above the 50. Let me know down in the comment section if you want that indicator. I would be uh, more than happy to send it your way. But you get a positive cross. You get your 21 EMA trending to the upside. And of course, we got the big three buy signal with that green arrow. Under 30 would cancel all of that out. Under the 21, under the 50, you get rid of that buy signal. And of course, if you do that to the hourly, you do the same thing to the 30, the 15, and the 5. I think at this point, guys, it's it's the only chance they have in the short term to avoid what I think could be a pretty ugly, you know, move to the downside from here. And granted, we've we, we've already seen some good selling pressure. So it's not as if the idea of the market trading lower is new. But what is new is the weekly squeeze that just starts to fire short. You got to remember what that means. When a squeeze fire is short, there's a potential for a good 8 to 10 bars of momentum. Last time we fired a squeeze short, the SPX pulled back by five or 600 bucks. And the thing to note here is look at your histogram. Right now, the histogram tells us that the bears have got a fresh tank of gas to use up. You don't bottom out down here last time around until your histogram is all the way down here. I think the same rules apply this time around. So the VIX has got a loaded gun in the form of buy signals from head to toe. 
the S&Ps have got a loaded gun here in the form of sell signals from head to toe and a fresh weekly squeeze. So that is the, the key, I think, guys, into Friday. A couple of economic reports expect a lot of back and forth. But bigger picture, as long as the VIX is trending above that daily 21 EMA with a full stack of buy signals, the path of least resistance is to the upside. And when that's the case with the volatility index, typically means the path of least resistance to the market is to the downside. And frankly, as we all know, we are at a spot here where, I mean, basically, the bulls are going to pull something out of their ass, or the market looks pretty screwed here. So for now, we are short Apple, we are long LNG, and we got a short going here on Walmart. But that's it for tonight, guys. Um, technically, I'm on vacation this week, so try to keep it short and simple. But for now, I think the VIX is probably one of the more important charts to focus on. You know, the beauty of the VIX is nothing changes here today. And that should tell you nothing changes about the bigger picture. Even though the S&P's rallied a good 70 bucks off the bottom, the VIX barely budged. So make sure you anchor to this chart, I think. I mean, basically anchor to this chart for the foreseeable future. But for the next couple of days here, above 30, with buy signals across every time frame, that points towards potentially a big move brewing here in the volatility index. And I'll tell you guys what, I am definitely here for it. But that's all I got tonight, guys. Hope you all found this helpful as always. If you haven't already, go on ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. And of course, you can check out the link for my mastery group down in the description of the video. Enjoy the rest of your night. Hope you guys are having a good week here. And as always, I will hit you up with a couple more videos over the next few days. Until then, be good, trade safe, pet your dog, and I'll talk to you next time. Adios.